Okay guys, it's time to uh, have a little look at the plot. Just a quick update. As you can see, strawberries are doing really, really well. Um, we've had loads and loads of pickings off these already. As you can see, we've got red strawberries. There, well, we've got big bunches there. You know, there's strawberries everywhere on these now. So we're going to take runners off these this year and we'll build another one of these beds because uh, they seem to like it. Um, the chard and everything's doing really well. Um, there must have been a few mixed seeds in uh, because for some reason we ended up with a cabbage here. Um, a broad bean there and another cabbage up there so uh, you know so uh, we've got we've ended up with a few little extras as you can see at some point there was potatoes growing here because they've come up in the path um, and we've gone come up everywhere else as well parsnips and carrots are looking really good they're coming up there's a few obviously empty cases there but uh, you know they're looking good. We'll see how they grow because they got good medium there. Potatoes. I'm gonna see if I can come down, give you some sort of idea. Are absolutely huge. As you can see, there's the bags down there, and look at that. There's Charlotte, and those ones there are all our main crop, which are Satanta. Um, so they're looking really good. It won't be long. We'll be picking those or harvesting them, I should say. Got a fair bit of weeding to do on the plot, just you know, with my bad back, I haven't been able to do it. Uh, we've got some radish and kohlrabi and um, all sorts of bits and bobs in here. We've got some uh, spring onions, some leeks, and, and things like that, which we've sown late on. We've got some peas across the back fence there. There's Wurzel in Pride of Place, still, uh, still doing his job. Okay, we've got some lettuce here which aren't doing very good at all. They've taken forever, so we're going to plant some more and we're going to put them uh, elsewhere. As you can see, the celery all went yellow, but there's some green coming back in it now because we gave it um, some uh, manganese and some magnesium, Epsom salts, you know, um, to help bring the green back. And we've done it with all our beans and stuff as well, so hopefully over the next few days, uh, we've done this last night and we give everything a good feed so uh, hopefully it'll start pulling them back but we've got loads of weeding to do broad beans are doing okay they are way behind compared to everybody else's but again we've had such rubbish weather here that we haven't been able to do anything but they're all flowering and there's been bees all over them all morning so uh, hopefully we will get you know get a load of them with the garlic and the onions are coming up but um Again, these are looking a little tired at the moment, but we've got a mole. And uh, as you can see, it keeps digging up some of the garlic bulbs. So um, we need to knock him on the head. Our shallots are starting to split, as you can see. So that's all good. And these French beans that we thought, that the birds had had the tops off, we thought weren't going to come back, are all coming back really well. The uh, cross there we've got three pyramids of peas and they are sweet peas so hopefully we'll get some flowers off those but again we are really far behind. Again more beans and needs another really good weed um, we'll sort that out. There's our balotti they're climbing really well um, looking a bit yellow but again like I said we give them some Epsom salts and some feed so hopefully that'll sort that out. On our raspberries, they've all fallen over, but there are bees everywhere on them, as you can see there. There's just bees absolutely everywhere on them. You know, they're all over the place. They're loving these raspberry flowers, so uh, hopefully we'll get a crop of raspberries. I need to tie them up, but um, I'll do that in the next few days. Um, we've been a bit busy with other stuff. You'll have to excuse if you can't hear me because someone's just started a strimmer. The rhubarb is also going okay. 
onions are starting to bulk out but not coming to a huge amount so we may end up pulling them. Uh, our comfrey has just gone mental obviously with the rain we haven't been able to do anything and it's flowered and what have you but we're still going to harvest this, we're going to crop it and we're still going to make comfrey tea out of it. Um, you know it might not be as potent but we, we will still make it. Under the netting here is all our swedes and our brassicas and they're doing okay. They could do with another good watering. Some of them are starting to wilt a little. Um, so we'll give them a good watering later on uh, when it cools down. It's a bit warm up here at the moment. Um, down here, peas again. They're starting to come up. Not the best, but again, you know, we can do what we can do. And our beans again. Looking a bit yellow, but we've given them some magnesium and some manganese, so hopefully that'll sort them out. And again, with our squashes, pumpkins and courgettes and what have you, um, they've all had a good feed and some magnesium. So hopefully that'll sort them out. Uh, the polytunnel, I don't believe I've opened yet this morning, so i better go and find the keys so I can open it. Um, but uh, as you can see, there's a, still a fair bit of mess. There's some slabs obviously gone from here now, so we can tidy up this area. Um, bear with me a moment. Just something else I want to talk to you guys about as well. Um, once the polytunnel has been built, as you know, we're going to film that, and there'll be a complete series on that. It is underway. Um, but obviously we can only do a little tiny bit at a time. I'm just going to see if I can just sort of do this now without... There we go. There's a fair bit of heat coming out of this this morning. Again, I'm right mess in here at the moment, guys. Oh, it's very hot in here. Um, here's our grapes and they'll go in the new polytunnel when we get a chance. Excuse me. Okay, a couple of things I want to show you. As you can see, we have chilies all over our cayenne there. Got some green bell peppers in the back there. Our sweet bananas are doing absolutely brilliantly. Uh, as are our little elves. You know, they got chilies all over them, even a red one there. Some more sweet bananas here, some more forming. Bell peppers in the back there. Um, there's a huge bell pepper coming over here. Don't know if you can see it. There. There's a couple on that plant. There's more cayenne there and around here. Um, our tomatoes really need a good soaking and, and what have you. And they're falling all over the place so I need to get them tied up. So uh, we're breaking all the cardinal rules at the moment to be honest with you. But that's the way it is. Again, chilies. We've got cayenne all over the place. I don't know if this camera is picking it up with this weather, but um, uh, sorry, with the uh, with the sun. Our super hots are not um, doing a lot. They are growing, as you can see, but there's there's no chilies on them as of yet. Okay, we got some brassicas, which need to go out. Um, we just need some room, some sweet corn. These are our sweet potatoes from the slips that we grew um, and our pineapple and in there we've got some uh, melons and cucumbers. So that's basically it around the plot here. I'm going to take you into the, um, the chicken pen. I want to show you something in there. Is still open. Okay, as you can see, it's very hot, so the uh, the birds are all resting at the moment, sunbathing, and everything else. As are the ducks up here. Um. cockerels. Again, ducks are just laying around. Excuse that. I just wanted to introduce you to these guys. 
if you remember in one of our last videos we said that we were going to get some more well we just bought another 11 point delay pellets um, various breeds in there and um, they're all very good laying they're all heavy laying strains um, as you can see on the floor down there the ducks have decided to to lay a couple of eggs under there I'm just going to pop in this pen and just give you a little update on the baby chicks so uh, another day or two and these can come out and have a have a little uh, bit of fresh air but there they are they're all running around she's been a good mum I don't know if you can make this out on the camera I'll see if I can get, get it in a bit closer for you now So uh, I'm going to leave her alone now and uh, we'll put this door back. And hopefully she'll be happy in there. Bear me one second guys while I just put this door back and we'll continue. Okay, there we are. So, we uh, just lock this gate. Okay, as you know, where all this area is, we're going to put the pond and uh, we're going to dig it down a little bit. Now underneath this ground, um, a load of stuff was buried and that's why these were dedicated chicken plots. Um, the people who had the allotments over the last 20-30 years just treated them absolutely really bad and instead of getting rid of the rubbish, just buried it in certain areas that weren't being used. So it's done us a favour in one way because it's raised the ground for the chickens, but in another way, now I want to dig into it, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, but uh, we we get there eventually. Um, but as you can see, all the chickens and ducks doing well. I just want to give them a pond there. I mean, they've got all this area here. They've got to strim down yet because the ducks weren't able to keep it down on their own. And I want them to use the area at the moment. They all sort of congregate up here. Anyway, guys, thanks for viewing. Sorry about the noise with the strimmer. And um, I'll get back to you with the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.